Hey, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to RVOA. I feel like I owed it to y'all since y'all didn't get to see me put the tarp on. At least y'all can get to see me take the tarp off. So let's get into it, shall we? Actually, not terrible. I'm standing on it. I'm just afraid of heights. So like, I'm not built for this, bro. On top of that, this is where the leak is. So I'm usually scared I'm gonna fall through right here, but it feels sturdy. It's not bad. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure y'all just saw that. Oh, uh, the wind just blew the camera stand over at the tripod. I caught it before my phone fell. Yeah, I was checking to make sure I was still recording and a huge gust of wind comes right as the gust of wind comes. Y'all see, I try to do it for y'all and then I almost lose my camera, gimbal and tripod, so. So as y'all probably saw, I mean, kind of lost my tripod, but saved a lot of things, that's a good thing. I know this is a little different. I don't even have a microphone on or anything. I'm actually on the roof currently. And I just wanted to talk about embracing failure today because I'm experiencing a lot of it, a lot. Whoever did this roof before me, first of all, curse you. <laughs> they did roofing tar. They used actual tar for like a real roof. So I'm having to scrape it all up in chunks using a heat gun and a scraper and God only knows how long that's going to take. Um, hopefully y'all can see this. Like I said, I didn't really... Cameras, microphones and everything isn't really the vibe right now. I've lost a lot of money <laughs> uh, trying to figure out things such as the furnace and this roof. But with every failure comes another development. With every failure, I get closer and closer to the result that I want. I am trying to embrace that more. Um, I've, I've embraced it very well, being on the road and whatnot these past two years. And yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I continue to do a good job of that and not get bogged down. It seems like there's so many things that are just hitting me over and over again. Like I said, I'm spending money. Y'all know I, I don't like spending money, but I bought the leaf springs and everything for the camper, but I didn't get U-bolts. And U-bolts are done to torque so you can't redo them so i have everything for the leaf springs and the suspension system equalizers and everything except the u-bolts so now i have to wait for another paycheck to get the u-bolts got roofing tape uh got rv sealant tape for the roof but realizing i have a, a metal roof i'm gonna have her cut i'm gonna have to cover each of these seams all this seam this seam that seam that seam so on and so i'm going to need about 100 feet plus so that tape is also coming in so like i say as i continue to fail i realize i'm getting closer to the goal closer to the objective i'm trying to get to and that is the point that is the goal hopefully y'all can't hear that noise back there i should have worn my microphones oh. howdy i definitely understand why so many people have unfinished camper projects or they gut the camper and then realize, wow, this is a lot of work. What have I got myself into? And I think it just takes an it takes an otherworldly level of optimism and persistence. <laughs> because man, oh man, I got gaskets for the furnace and that also didn't fix the issue. So as a lot of y'all have recommended, I'm gonna settle and get a Chinese diesel heater. Because at least I'll have I, I do have heat sources and as you can see it's spring, summertime. I'm not gonna need the furnace for very long i'm not gonna need the furnace at all pretty much coming up so it's not that big of a deal but you know i'm getting a lot of experience doing this i'm learning through trial and error man through a lot of trial and error but i'll have proof of you know concept of what i can do of the perseverance i have because in the future i do want to rebuild campers and have them on a piece of land i don't think i've ever talked about what my actual plans and things are with this but in in the future near future depending on what you consider near, I would like to have land and I would like to rebuild vehicles and have accompanying trailers so that people could, I, we could take people off of the road or off of the streets or just anybody trying to look to get um, a different start in life. It would be a way for them to have a vehicle to get to and from work. You would have an RV or tiny home or container or a cargo trailer whatever the case may be you'll have something to stay in on the land and we could all benefit from each other whether you put in 
time on the channel to help like editing or you have a cooking segment or gardening segment or things like that eventually one day it'll not just be low car with rv away it'll be multiple people with the rv away channel with rv away brand and i just feel like it could be a whole lot bigger than myself that's why i say these things can really seem challenging and daunting like i can't i can't lie i've looked at this a couple times and been like man i might have to give up but everything i read online just says elbow grease and heat elbow grease and heat and somebody was very generous enough to loan me their um heat gun so it'll get done eventually it'll get done it eventually um i'm pretty i don't even think there's a tool for this honestly like i said it's it's just tar some good old-fashioned elbow grease and heat will get this all up in due time and so yeah i'm just trying to embrace the failure and know that it's getting me closer to success and i want y'all to try to do the same try to do the same this year this week this month today if you fail look at it in a positive light if your tire goes flat you can look at it in a bad way but in reality maybe if you drove just a little bit farther down the road you would have got in an accident so that that tire going flat might have saved your life so always look on the positive side like i said it's an unreal level of optimism don't get me wrong i understand it <laughs> but it's how i lived this lifestyle for two years and how i've made it to where i am and just how i continue to grow strive persevere and keep seeing the brighter side of things honestly this is gonna be a challenge man but when i started i could not see these rivets and now i can see these rivets so we got a pile of rubble i mean it's gonna be some work but through music preservation determination and optimism it will get done it will get done if you're feeling generous the wish list would be in the description below so is the cash app and the paypal are below if you're feeling generous if you want to help me out in this journey i'll try to eventually get myself but it could be a year or two from now so any help is greatly appreciated just like miss phillips she was able to get me the primer and the sealant for the roof which if, if she didn't do that i wouldn't have had i wouldn't have had the money to get the leaf spring so her helping me out is is amazing she is a blessing i really appreciate you i really appreciate you miss barbara i'm not sure if i call you miss barbara miss phillips miss malcolm there's a lot of different names going around with like youtube and everything but i really appreciate it i know these videos aren't the most action-packed aren't the most going on but there's just so much prep work i have to do first and like i said i have leaf springs i have the rv roof sealant stuff everything i need so these next video this next video these next two three videos should be some heat should be some bangers it should be a lot going on a lot of actual renovations things being fixed and that's just a bonus that's just a plus i'm really excited to see this roof all white and shiny nice and reflective so if you're gonna look out for that if you haven't already make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell i go live a good amount and do fireside chats let me show y'all the <laughs> Check out the little fireside area. We do fireside chats. And I'm trying to do more of those. The Wi-Fi hopefully should get a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to get my me my own Wi-Fi satellite so I don't have to share with other people and have the stream going in and out. But yeah, I just really appreciate y'all. I really love y'all. I really thank y'all just for tuning in weekly. Um, if you do sometimes daily with the live streams those like i said those really get fun we really have a nice little community growing and i really appreciate and love every single one of y'all join the discord if you want to kind of if you want to talk to me and chat to me outside of youtube join the discord that's where we can message we can video call we can screen share because i be needing help with some of this stuff and i can't talk through youtube comments people don't get a lot of youtube notifications yeah join the discord if you haven't i really appreciate that we already got we had like 15 members so it's like one percent of the channel is on the discord so you should join the discord it's fun over there it's how we interact with the fireside chats and how we'll have guests coming in and out and stuff like that no i was probably speaking japanese and i probably didn't keep a lot of y'all attention but that's okay like i said it's just i'm putting the hard work in now before i do a rv ceiling video uh beginning to end or whatever but um yeah i appreciate y'all real ones sticking in week to week with me every week and just being here supporting me dropping in the lives and just saying hello and yeah keeping me sane man keeping me sane out here because it get hectic it get crazy i can't really get in my own head but let me just say i love you i appreciate you